Madhubala ji has made her like like you don't think of you don't think of you think of Madhubala ji first and then Anarkali honestly. I end my conversations with Z5 always with a game. Oh, oh. Ah, we so love, 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 love. make you all my game. We make up. Why? 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 Aditi ji Aditi Aditi Aditi, 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 Aditi Not me at all I'm the worst <laughs> The skilled lover Basically mine is harmless The skilled lover is over here <laughs> I'm a passionate warrior He called himself a dulhan No what did he say Ardhangini Ardhangini dulhan pata nahi I don't know what all he said He got himself a skill now. He has a method <laughs> to love. Yeah. Now they lead the fight, or he'll mm. say sorry to him thirty five thousand times. Guys, please. Yeah. Now this yeah. bromance is too much. Just yeah. shut up now, Olivia. <laughs> I told you, na, they throw me under the bus. Yeah, I, I told you, na, that prediction has come true. Who's most likely to use their star status to get out of tricky situations? Has yet to become a star, so <laughs> I want to be in good books. <laughs> Very Especially normal. Anarchy. Very normal for her to step into different timelines. <laughs> <laughs> Just hopping over. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, sixteen hundred. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Who's most likely to have the most innovative comebacks? Ashim Gulati uh, will not get back to you only. History is what makes us what we are today. And when told on celluloid, it just becomes all the more appealing because we get to get a glimpse of a world that only we could only imagine. and when done well it becomes a masterpiece and that's what taj divided by blood is offering us uh, today i'm sitting with four people amongst them two of them are someone whom i have already spoken to one of them has always left me smitten beat on screen or off screen thank you the other yeah <laughs> he got the he, yes you got that right <laughs> the other person i have met quite a few times but uh, today with his mustache on like uh, it seems like he's a completely new person mm -hmm. and the other two hunks i am sitting with have just made this frame all the more beautiful so i'm very happy and excited to be sitting so with this amazing company so all of you welcome to bollywood bubble Thank you. Uh, Thank, you. Thank you. So let's do it. I have to start by saying, like uh, as I said in my intro, like this kind of <clears throat> history when we do on celluloid, it gives us a chance to kind of transport into an era that we have not yeah. seen in person. It's only our imagination. When you get to be a part of a project like this, how uh, freedom? Uh, how much freedom does it give you to kind of? Go all out with your creativity, your imagination, because oh. there's a blank canvas when it comes uh, mm -hmm. in terms of the appeal and the environment of the set. Uh, while the characters are somewhat being played before or uh, have been there before, but uh, the environment is something you can always uh, mold according to your own vision. Mm -hmm. So, how was that experience for you? To be very honest, both of us <laughs> over here, we didn't have much written on us in history. We are like a blip. over there so um i had a great opportunity to explore the character um there was nothing which said that murad has to be this way or murad has to be that way um it gave me the complete freedom of the kind of of his behavior of how he would react to a certain situation in his own way this was not something which was written in the script again this was a a liberty that we had that we could make i could make this character uh, on a vulnerable side something somebody that you could hate but at the same time um uh, feel sorry for him mm -hmm. yeah shubham how about you like uh, facing the camera for the first time mm. how was that experience because you have been behind it so for me the way i saw it was that uh, i don't care about the cameras i'm going to wear my headphones put on my music and i'm just going to live with these people offset i meet my crew i'm going to like really hug them chill with them dance with them but on set i don't want to participate in that world i want to create a wall so that i get to live in this era and that's the way i saw it and aditi i have to say like uh, let's just say it's a common consensus everyone wanted a merunisa spin off after padmavat uh, you kind of uh, look very well suited and most apt for playing that role very especially normal anarkali. very normal for her to step into different timelines <laughs> <laughs> just hopping over yeah uh, like oh 1600 there we go <laughs> <laughs> like you said you know i really loved your introduction because it's It's something that you hear about, and you can only imagine. And then when people uh, tell these stories and they make them and they create them, especially when you work with good people, uh, they create magic for you, you know. And then you get to get to be a part of that magic. And um, 
hopefully it works and then it gets etched in people's minds that yeah. is always the hope right yeah. and i always feel like cinema is so um it, it, it's something that lives on so it would be so amazing to be able to create to be a part of cinema that is timeless mm. you know that you just keep going back to that stays relevant over the years and right. there's a reason why yeah. certain stories one. are told and retold and retold and retold because they have that quality because mm. they have that quality of being interesting at any time you know and there is so much in those stories that you'll just keep finding gold the more you look mm. for it the more you'll find and that's also because those characters are so interesting well like said. if you have just a factory prototype of a character there's one aspect to that character but the more layered a character is the more there is in their past or in their in the, you know the more that character has layers and thinks the more you'll find about that character and those characters usually intrigue you yeah. and you always like keep them with you and you go home with them because you keep thinking about them yeah. and i find that uh, in a lot of these kinds of stories you find characters like that and that's why they live on one of my most like i was so determined to do this is that you know anarkali especially and mm. she is very iconic mm. is uh, and madhubala ji has made her <clears throat> like like you don't think of you don't think of, you think of madhubala ji first and then anarkali honestly the True. way that we have all you know grown up grown listening up. to these stories um and i feel like for this i was so determined to just humanize this girl to treat her like a girl who is in love because anarkali in her time is not iconic anarkali is just a girl who falls in love with the prince and the and a prince who falls in love with her and it it is two hearts who long to be together yeah. and nothing is going in their favor and mm. it is i i felt that it was so important to humanize her and to keep her real in that way yeah. and also to make sure that she is not a victim you know that her her situation is very tragic but she in herself is a very fearless girl who yeah. stands by love and is willing to take any punishment for it yeah. so to me like that's such a powerful girl you know when i say anarkali after madhubala ji obviously in this generation if i could think of someone that's who huge. could play that role it has to that's be that's a huge compliment there is no one that can bring that wow. because you have that uh, tehrav also but you have that eyes that speak a lot without speaking much through the mouth so that is something uh, that is a apt casting that's why i said now coming on to the person who's my uh, my introduction was all about Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, so my introduction was all about you. Uh, so Ash, Ash, I have to say like uh, I started seeing the trailer and I see like uh, to put it mildly, it's a charm that comes into play in the starting only. I haven't yeah. seen the trailer yet. Oh, <laughs> I I don't think I really worked on uh, making Salim charming or tried to make him look a certain way. I just fell in love with who Salim was. I fell in love with uh, the you way. You don't need to try too hard. What's actually you, the bro? The way it was, uh, <laughs> the way it was written, oh. and it's so beautifully written. And obviously, like there, there is, you know, how Salim's been written before, and how it's been portrayed. I mean, by the greats like Dilip Sab. I just wanted to be different. I just wanted to be some part of me, but most part of how human Salim was, and 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 his relationship with his with his brothers, the way he treated his mum. the way he uh, fell in love with anarkali the way he just fought for it mm. so i think that was that sexy mm. you know that was charming mm. and yeah. and the fact that uh, the way he dealt with all of that was very interesting and i i i mean for me like i didn't want to try and be be someone or try to make it look like something i just wanted to be truthful i just wanted salim to be uh relatable in today's day and age like any other boy would just be in love with a uh, with a girl who who cannot like the, the, he's not getting through and his frustration about it and what he does and the way he does it the way he approaches that i think that just making him as human as possible giving the fact and keeping the essence in mind that it's a it's a periodic i think that was a bit of a challenge but 
not trying too hard because I don't think that's that's sexy. Secondly, I have to ask all of you, like you have got the chance to work with the greats, uh, Dharmendra sir that, and Nasir sir. That's a first. So, uh, <laughs> I have to ask all of you, your best memory of working with them on the set. I And I have worked with people who are like really iconic, you know, whether it's directors or actors. And I have worked with people like that before. And Nasir sir is an iconic actor um, for many generations. Um, but somewhere when you come and set with a person like that, what I really saw was a childlike artist who just constantly wants to make a scene better. And I, and I saw that this person who did not want to be alienated as a legend and to sit in a corner and for everybody to tiptoe around him, he was on set all the time chatting or learning his lines or doing lines or doing a scene or rehearsing with me or answering my 85 million questions about dialogue or how to pronounce something or whatever. And the, the fact that in 10 minutes, I felt comfortable enough to, you know, ask him all kinds of random questions just shows how collaborative and, you know, how, how much he works as a team. And I found that really incredible about somebody who has that much experience, who didn't want to be left alone. He mm -hmm. just wanted to work together as a team. Like it's really like we're doing a school project. He sort of opens up your horizons, you know, every conversation. He's like the man is an institution, like every conversation with him. He will not just keep you in a room. He will take you everywhere. He will tell you about a trip uh, where he and his son went hiking to Egypt. Like the thing is like he's and there is cinema everywhere. Mm. And he's such a rich actor that even I, I personally believe this. Obviously, he's ne never going to admit it. But I feel that the way he was with all three of us uh, had to do with the fact that we were his uh, children in the narrative. And also because of that, there was no actor to actor hierarchy. I remember that my favorite scene of working with him was the scene where uh, I had come back from a long, let's say, a war trip mm -hmm. and I got something like a gift for him, which he did not appreciate at all. And um, instead, he um, he whacked me. <laughs> but like he was saying, I feel that he definitely accepted all of us. Right. But I like as far as Murad is concerned, I always felt that there was a uh, maybe a small one hand distance, you know, yeah. but that's because he wanted that, that also. yeah, yeah, he wanted that thing between us. But once once the show was done and once actually we should we saw the the first episode with him, yeah. right after the episode, he actually gave me a kiss, all right, which I'll never forget. Uh -huh. you know, that was my that was that was the biggest award that I can actually just walk out and this 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 legend just comes up to you and he grabs Sorry, you and he, he always like hugs you yeah, he's yeah. Very like such tight hugs like whenever he'll meet you I've met him for the photo shoot after like I think months now since we've shot and and I went into his vanity and just he gave me like a hug and he, he doesn't leave you for like 10 seconds and it's you can tell that it's with so much love and so yeah. much warmth mm -hmm. that people like this don't exist in our generation yeah we're like the high fives or the half hug bros. Hmm. Uh, but like a man <laughs> hugs you and like really like kisses you on the cheek and like uh, gives you blessings. Salim to deta hai. Salim to deta hai. Um, this one time I was on the, uh, on, on, on the fort and we would, I was just by myself and I was doing my SWAT practice and I was mm -hmm. going at it and there was supposed to be so many takes to that because they were shooting it from different angles and mm -hmm. And the man, when I say empathy, right? Yeah. The man, and his, and he's so grand. Like yeah. every time the take when the director said cut, and I would, the, I mean, we had some altercation between the direction team and, and at the time because we weren't given like the time to yeah. practice enough. And that was a scene where I'm just by myself and I'm just going at it. And, and it's really hot. Okay. Yeah. It's really hot and it's right, the sun's right on top. And he just, and he comes, he's, we have a massive scene together. And he would come and every time I hit the director say cut, he'd just come to me and he's like, are you okay? Like, is, are, are you feeling okay? Do you want to just take some time off? He doesn't need to do that. Like, I mean, a person like him doesn't really need to stand in yeah. and give you a, when, when it's your close up or his close up, yeah. <clears throat> he doesn't need to stand there and give you the cues. 
he does that yeah and when he started and when he started yeah and he asked when he started he's like you want me to stay if yeah. uh, i'll I'm like no no but no. he really enjoys he loves <laughs> yeah. to like he loves yeah. yeah you can see that it's not ki oh matlab aaj maine like i know we worked with actors like where uh, you know you have you're done with your close up Buzz. and your and your and now you have to give your like that happened with shubham the first scene and i just gave it off to him because i'm like how dare you Uh, your fir- your first like you, you know you close up and now you're done with your scene now it's my close up Guts, okay yeah. and oh, yeah. and and you just sometimes you just switch off not some you know it's it's, it's not a conscious purpose, thing yeah. but like sometimes you feel like yeah now it's done you 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 performed your scene and it's mm-hmm. and it's over easy target that's all <laughs> so so but but with him it was very different mm-hmm. like he was he was every time he'd give it the same way that he did during his take mm-hmm. my take and it was brilliant not to yeah. say that He he was after Talk that. Talk about the one seventy nine other scenes mm-hmm. that we have done. Now they lead the fight, or he'll mm-hmm. say sorry to him thirty five thousand times. Guys, please yeah. now this yeah. bromance is too much. Just shut yeah. up now, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell? Yeah. But uh, I end my conversation with Z five. Always with a game. Uh, oh, ah, so we love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We love. Make you all like game. We wake up. That's why I love you. It'll wake us up. But you have to make very clear rules because we are all yeah very competitive. Excuse me, you are also a junkie. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It's a game of. We'll start with who's most likely to break into a song abruptly on set. Song, I, yeah. I guess. Start singing, mm-hmm. just like singing. Me uh, or him? Uh, I him. I've never so. worked with Aditi like that, but I, I've seen this guy break into a song. Been around so much. Yeah, yeah I think Ashim, 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 Ashim breaks into a song. Does he have a melodious voice? Oh, no, no. Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> No, he's he's. Uh, I so, think he has an amazing voice, yeah. I, I think. Oh, you and know, he's doing he to sings, guzzles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing to uh, Jagjit Singh guzzles and like these old. But, you know, you sang that Punjabi song once. Older than time itself. I'm a timeless. Yeah. Time, yeah. Yeah. time, time, ever been. Sixteen hundred, boing. Romance over. Romance over. Boing. Man, nee. Okay. Who's most likely to have the most innovative comebacks? Aditi ji. Not me at all. I'm the worst. <laughs> My comebacks. I think of two days later. Arey, I could have said that. That I, is not a I, I my know. skill. I think our love is so much that we have to come back to it. Okay. Mine is the worst. I wish I had. If you want to say something, then you can say it. Okay. Who is most likely to flirt with strangers? Uh, Shubham. You. Shubham. Shubham. Hundred percent. He was the first to point the finger. <laughs> 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 Oh, but it could be Murad yeah, also. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Both of them. it could be Murad. Hey, <laughs> do do you guys team up? I'm only playing. Do you guys team up? He is more obvious. He is more like subtle. You can I, be the I, big I, man I, for I, each I, other. Correct. Adi ne bhot analysis hi hai. She's rightly. Oh, yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah. great. Yeah. great uh, observation. Well, but but the whole, the skilled lover. Basically, mine is harmless. <laughs> the skilled <laughs> lover is over here. <laughs> छुपा रुस्तम है, वो पैशनेट वॉरियर। छुपा रुस्तम। Dude, in the in the whole show, this guy gets all the women, right? I get my axe. That's all I get. I get my axe. What axe? Don't let's not go there. He get that. He called himself a dulhan. No, what is it? Ardhangini. Ardhangini. Dulhan. पता नहीं. I don't know what all he said. He got himself a skill in love. He has a method to love. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Who's most likely to have more absurd life stories? Absurd life stories. Hmm. I think it could be him. No, I think it's Shubham. I feel. Maybe. Both of them. I think Shubham. Yeah. Yeah. I think his second, prediction has come correct. Second, He'll be put under the axe. This will be accept. more angst, and yeah, Shubham will be more ridiculous. Like it's like, dude, that's a horror story. That's not. <laughs> abstract, comedy, yeah. bro. Comedy. Uh, yeah, okay. Good. I told you, na, they threw me under the bus. Yeah, I I told you, na, that prediction has come true. Uh-huh. Second last one, who's most likely to use their star status to get out of tricky situations? Aditi ji. Aditi, Aditi, Aditi. Never, 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 never. Literally. Oh shit! He has jumped to in his never, inner defense. Yeah. He has yet to become a star, so <laughs> I want to be in good books. <laughs> so never history books. <laughs> But for real, no. Uh, she's very chilled out. But she takes that time. I feel, I, uh, and she yeah, tries only, only, yeah, only when she gets hungry. Only when she gets hungry. Only when she gets hungry. Yeah, she's the she only star. Hangry. Hello, she gets hungry. She gets hungry. No, no. Uh, but then she, st- I, I, I remember doing yeah, a scene I with her. Angry, I started. Yeah, I, I remember doing a scene with her, and she got really, really hungry, and she, she was, she was like, dude, I'm getting hungry, and then, and then she was like, no, 
Let's do one more. Let's do one yeah. more. And then we went and we did one more. And then we got that take. Please bring us some food. We got that day. We got that day. Okay. And lastly, who takes the most time to get back for a call or a message? Ashim Gulati uh, will not get back to you only. <laughs> there is no getting back. Maybe now he's changing. I've seen this change in the last probably <laughs> three months. But when we were filming or before that, I'm asking for master class password. And this guy is dead. And then after one week, I'll send him a message again. I said, okay, it's going to be a little bit of time. The words he has been Zaleel. Like these are the words. No, no, but yeah. So dramatic. But, but he has no, such passion na, when he's speaking about Ashim. Zaleel. I love him. I love him. I love him. I, I, yeah. I'm in awe of him. I've said it again and again. Yeah, and we love this camaraderie between all of you. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All of you. Closing this like. Yeah. Thank you. So much fun. It was amazing.